Hello guys, my name is Hokusai and this is another video from the series. I'm going to draft a deck, play some games, and I will explain all the things I'm doing, all my reasonings, all my thoughts, so maybe it can help you. So let's start. We are getting offered Elise, Seth and Katarina. With choice, I always tend to pick the safest option and right now there's not a safest option. Um, Elise, solid champion. Uh, Shadow Isles have great spells. I think they are the best spells in the game. Seth is a great champion for Expedition, one of the best. And also Yonia tend to have elusive units, so that's really good. And finally we have Katarina. It could be really valuable in an aggressive deck. And yes, these two cards uh, can be really good in aggressive decks. So Katarina is an option. I'm not going to pick Shadow Wilds because I do not like this card. I do not want to have this card. And uh, in the middle group, Yoni, the Jonas group, I do not want to get a recall, so I'm gonna pick the Noxus because the three cards are decent and they, they are cohesive. Okay, second pick, Garen, Yasuo and Elise. So, if we are going to make an aggressive deck, another good choice would be Yonia. But this champion, Yasuo, is not that good, even if he got buffed. Navoi Conspirator could work. Um, Arachnophilia, yes, this is another great group because it has three solid cards. But finally, then we have Garen that, well, you know, the Masia are the best uh, at. The Masia has the best mid range units. So this is another possibility, but the Masia is not an aggressive faction. And maybe Elise could be a better option right now. But anyways, as I said earlier, I always tend to pick the safest option and right now the Masia is the safest option. Okay, Ronaldo's pursuit will in death. I love will in death, but I do not like so much relentless pursuit. And we already have a lot of uh, two cards that, that's a lot that can give us rally. Um, also, this group is good as well, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to have spell mana. Okay, this is a pretty interesting choice because I think there isn't a best option. We are so well in the draft and we don't know what archetype our deck is gonna be. So for example, if I pick Retribution, I'm tending to make a more mid-range deck. Um, if we pick Noxiamite, I'm gonna make more like an aggressive deck. So it's a hard choice. I think still the safest option is Retribution because Remembrance, all 5 cost followers from the Mashi are good, a standalone could be aggressive, so I think this is the safest option. Trifarium Hopeful could be good, but we don't know if we're gonna get uh, 1 mana or 2 mana Noxus units, so this is I think the safest option. Trifan Glow Seeker, nice. Trifan Shield Breaker. Legion Saboteur and Shumpo. Okay, the, the, the group that I'm not going to pick is the middle one. I think it's the worst. These are not aggressive cards. I see Trifan Glow Seeker as a hard removal. You play him and you challenge a guy and you kill him. That's the only thing you want. Of course, could be aggressive. But, so yes, th this is a, 
a nice group, but the problem is you find Shield Breaker, 5 mana, it's a great unit, but I think that I'm gonna get other 5 mana cost units from the Masia. Uh, so I'm going to avoid this and I'm going to get Spellbound, Mage Seeking Corsin Bearer, in my opinion, an underrated card. I think he's really, really good. And Prismatic Barrier, a solid spell you can play in the middle of a battle. Okay, Might, Bongor First Blade. I love this card. He created for the Masia. It's this spell. So I'm going to avoid the third group. I think it's the worst. So I'm between the f these two. I keep thinking that getting a Prismatic Barrier and Bongor Sergeant is the safest option right now. So, yes, I'm gonna choose this. Legion Rewa, a Legion Saboteur. Okay, not gonna pick this. Tiana, Crown Ward, and Chain Best could be an option. Fleet Feather Tracker, and Mage Seeking Conservator. Okay, I'm gonna pick the Fleet Feather Tracker, Mage Seeking Conservator because I really think these two guys are the, the best two one mana units in the game. Also, this one is really good, but this one is really bad. So, yes, I'm gonna pick the two one mana group because making this choice, I can still make an aggressive deck. It's a possibility. Mystical Conservator, Bangwan Sergeant, Senna, nice. I love this card. Bangwan Redeemer, nice card. Citria and Refined Shield Breaker. Okay, I already have a lot of 3 mana units, but I really want them anyway. See that yeah, the ball is an option, it's a really solid 6 mana unit. But yes, I think I'm gonna pick this, because for high mana units, I think a high mana unit is 6 or above, I want them to have over 1. Um, of course, Sidra has a really nice effect, but I prefer the over 1 ability for this kind of deck. Succession, Bangor Squire, no, I do not want that. Lauren Duelist, Silver Wing Scout, no. Reckless Trifire and Trifire and Shieldbreaker, nice. This is a really good group, so I'm gonna pick this. So we're on pick number 9. I have 13 units, 5 spells, that's a low quantity of spells, I always say this, but I want to have a 2 to 1 ratio, something like 20 units and 10 spells, so we are a little bit low on, on spells. Okay. Brighty Protector and Bangwar Cavalry, really good group. But I think I'm gonna pick this because I want a single combat and Fleet Feather Tracker is a great addition. So yes, I'm gonna pick this. Right now, we know what archetype our deck is. This is a mid-range with some potential to be aggressive. <clears throat> so let's keep uh, drafting with that in mind for example intimidating roar could be a great option to act as a finisher Argonite sentry yes could work chain best and bongo redeemer yes i want to avoid this i already have a lot and this doesn't add to our win condition it doesn't help us to achieve our win condition stand alone and mage seeking conservator Yes, no, no, I'm not gonna pick this. I'm gonna pick Disruption because I like the Intimidation Roar. I like it. I want to have more 2 mana units. So, again, the same group Mesh Second Conservator for single combat, Warshifts and Bangor First Blade, Prismatic Barrier and Detain. So, really, 2 really good spells 
and this is an option but if you if you can see my mana curve i do not have many two and four mana units so this is perfect gotta pick this group elixir of rather willing death nice nice spells breast to protect on legion drama okay another two 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 good mana two 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 good two mana units sorry sorry uh chain best among our defender no this is not an option so okay between these two noxion might and relentless i'm gonna get the first one will in death one of the best spells in the game so i can't avoid another one of these going to pick this elixir of wrath another solid addition standard on free feather trucker might bower cavalry crimson awakener i do not like this card and legion very well i'm going to pick the might among one cavalry because might could act as a finisher because it gives overwhelm and maybe i can give overwhelm to any of my five mana units and it's going to be really really good crimson awakening again might redouble valor nice single combat and finally bangor square and the team okay i'm tempted to pick this one not sure might but redouble valor could be really good i think okay i'm gonna pick redouble valor the problem is that i do not have many i only have one overwhelm unit and i want to use this on an overwhelm unit but maybe i can use it on shen maybe i can make get some value out of this the reason i think this guy is so good is because there isn't many hard removals in this game so you can safely play this and you're not going to you 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 do not have to be scared about getting its removal removed so yes i think i'm gonna pick the redouble bailer okay i skipped the trade the loss of misplay by my part okay so i'm gonna make a brief summary of our deck we have 20 dimension cards 10 noxus cards we have four one mana units so we want to mulligan for them we want to play these cards in our first turn we do not have a good follow-up and that's really bad that's really bad so if i get a war shift in my starting hand i'm gonna keep keep it we have a lot of three mana units so we can replace them safely unless it's a senna because it's a solid three mana turn we have 12, 12 spells that's a lot but that also gives me the chance to play more freely use spells whenever i can and we have our finishers like redouble Baylor, savage reconner and intimidating roar i can say this is a mid-range deck that can be played as an aggressive deck that means i do not i do not want the game to last so much because i'm probably sure that i'm going to run out of fuel so i want to win the games by the turn seven probably 
I have a Katarina that's like infinite value because she's going to get recalled every time she attacks and I can make some really good plays with her but let's see let's play our first game to see how it goes we are playing against Yasuo and Brown Frelior and Yonia as factions nice we got the warships so I'm going to mulligan um, for my one mana units that's okay no only for a great card actually I like this card let's hope he didn't get the elusive poro or the challenger poro smell that a fight to cook it okay he can attack if he trades with my warships, I'm going to be happy. Nice. Right now I have two options, Katarina or Bangwan Redeemer. I'm gonna play the Katarina probably because I want to get value out of this card even the this Sephora. Yes. Let the bloodshed begin. Take the high ground. We don't have a proper way to kill el elusive units. That's a weakness. But we can be really aggressive. We can be really aggressive. And that's kind of a counter to elusive units because they do not have they know they do not tend to have a lot of that. Of course this is not an elusive deck. As far away as we can see, but he has uh, cards from Yonia. So maybe that's a possibility. I'm gonna play my Mage Seeking Conservator because I want to attack with everything. We go where the War Mother bees. He got the buff. Only fools hesitate. Who goes there? Intruder, get him. Hmm. I'm gonna use the elixir of wrath. Huh. I love, I love the animation from this game. I think they are really, really cool. Okay, we got the ruination. That's insane. That's actually insane. Great value from our Mage Seeking Conservator. And the funny thing is he can't play around the Ruination. He can't expect the Ruination. So let's see. I can play my Garam block this Scott and Stephen and then I can use prismatic barrier to kill him on my next turn and the reason I'm playing Garen is well because I can't play anything else but maybe I can use a standalone on my next turn and 
it's pretty good to have a buffed Garen because it has regeneration. Standalone gives a permanent buff. Okay, going to attack. Maybe he has a flash freeze. I do not want... I prefer to use first the barrier because maybe he uses a flash freeze. And then I can buff him and deal at least some damage. Pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm not going to play right now the Arknoid Sentry because I can make more use of his ability when combining him with Katarina or Garen. Because if you rally, you can I can stun an enemy uh, a kind of two times. Play Fleet Feather Tracker and then Katarina. Is a leaf's only purpose to fall? Well, this is a surprise. Not now. Nice, he doesn't have any more mana we to play spells. Gonna kill this elusive unit. I'm going to rally so many times with Garen and Katarina. We have the card advantage uh, on the ball control right now, so that's pretty pretty good. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to attack. I'm going to play my Katarina. Well, this is a surprise. Not now. And then I'm going to play the Arachno Sentry. And stun the bull Elnook. The reason I'm doing this is because I have little. If he doesn't react because I can buff my guard with might. He only has two mana, maybe. Wanna see these moves up close? Hope you brought friends. No no, it's okay, he doesn't have Bristol. So okay. Yeah. This is lethal probably. Pretty nice. Ah! Pretty lucky for us that we, we managed to level up our two champions and we draw, we draw the two champions. That's not so common. Uh, 
and we are going to make our first modification, actually addition, after our initial draft. So again, we're going to offer a Garen and a Katarina. You're guaranteed to get a champion you already have. And... Illusion could be a great addition. Okay, I'm gonna... I would love to get another uh, Will and Death and Katarina or another Garen. Of course, they. I think they are strongest champion, but we need a two mana unit, and the Lucian is a perfect choice. The perfect two mana unit that we want, and another single combat. So yes, I'm gonna pick the Lucian just because I want to fill that two mana slot. I think the lack of two mana units. Is the reason this is not a proper aggressive deck so I want to feel that weakness okay replacing everything really bad starting hand also another problem here is that we got a Reckless Trifarian and we do not have the attack token so that means we're gonna play the Reckless Trifarian when we do not have the attack token that's a little bit so we're going to we are facing a mono Freljord that means he only has cards from Freljord I like that because you can expect what can he play. I hate when they have um, the shadows. I, I, I hate to play against Shadow Isles. They have so many huge spells that it scares me a lot. The harrowing, the ruination. So I should have placed. It. Well, actually no, because I should have played my single combat before. It is easy, see? I didn't see the Brom as a huge threat. But okay, now that he got buff, yes, he's a huge threat. So I can use my Redouble Veil right now. And I'm obligating him to block. Is that a good choice? I can attack with my Reckless Trifarian and give Might. Use the Might. Noxus! Gonna do that. I can't play anything. I can't play anything. So the other unit he's going to draw is gonna get so buffed. Plus two, plus two. So he has a threat growing out in his hand. Maybe he got a spell, but <clears throat> okay, he got a bubbling bird. I see a way to end this game. In three rounds I see a way not going to give a barrier to this because I'm gonna use the redouble trailer 
on this guy. So I'm obligating him to block with one of these cards and I still have the might. If I give might right now, this is gonna be um, 16, 16, 16. But if I do not give him might, he's going to block it with the Norman Hawk. I'm gonna attack. I'm gonna make the first plan. It seems better. So Freyler doesn't have a hard removal, so he can't deal with this guy. Unless he plays a Trindamer in two turns. A Trindamer I think is the only way he can deal with this guy properly, but I'm still going to attack, yes, I'm still going to attack because maybe I can give might to my Reckless Trifire if he blocked with the Brom. I'm gonna take advantage of this situation. And I'm going to give him might. He's going to be at one health. Pretty happy with my decision. that I do not have a way to deal direct damage to the Nexus. So that's a problem, but the good thing is that I'm obligating to block all my units and that's a good thing. That's something you want. He doesn't have a space to to breathe. I'm gonna use single combat to kill the Brom. I didn't use it earlier because, well, I didn't have the mana and this unit can't block, so it's okay. Pretty sure he doesn't have a frostbite. Okay, he got a frostbite. Why he didn't play it before? Hmm. Kind of strange. Savage Reconner can save us right now. <laughs> okay. I have a, a superpower. Of course, he still can have a harsh winds, another frostbite. What will you have? A mug of your warmest that still, still doesn't help him. Come here. I can't attack with my other two units. Nice, pretty good. So <laughs> we got pretty lucky. We got pretty lucky. 